fantastic pickles in there just look at those Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today we're making a mixed vegetable pickle. It's a cracking recipe and you see this pickle everywhere in Thailand, but it's easy to make at home and you can make it with any vegetables you want in there. So easy. Now I've got a mixed lot of veg here, as you can see, red onions, carrots, cucumber, I've got radish and I've got some various chilies. We're going to prep that in a minute, but the first thing we've got to do is boil up some water, dissolve some sugar with some vinegar and a little bit of salt. That has to cool down before we can add it to our veg. So there's our veg and we'll put it to one side. Okay, so this is very straightforward actually. I've got vinegar, that's going in there. And I've got water, that's going in there. I've got a whole lot of sugar that's going in there and then we want in about four teaspoons of salt so we're just going to do it on this tablespoon that's about two and that's about another two get on the flame and all we're going to do is dissolve the sugar so let's just give this a mix in here we want to dissolve this sugar it's very straightforward as soon as this dissolves just let it come to the boil and then turn it off we have to have this cooled down to go in our veg. Now I've already sterilized two jars there. I've got a whole load of veg. I might have to sterilize another one. Okay, boiling away. All we have to do now is turn that off, chuck it to one side while we do our veg. Right, so I've got a whole load of cucumbers here, look. So we're just going to start with these. I'm going to chuck them in this bowl. Everything's going in that bowl. So we're going to top and tail this. We don't want that. And we want these into about two centimeter pieces. Okay, so just put those to one side. And you can do it any which way you want. You know, you can top and tail every, everything. Or you can just slice through. Entirely up to you. And then what we're having to do, we're having to half it. And then we're going to third it, like that. So you get these lovely triangular bits of cucumber. Okay, nice and straightforward. So you can do it like that, you do it like that, and you still end up with the same things. So it's entirely up to you how you do it, but that's what we're after. We're after those nice triangular shape cucumbers and we're going to throw it all in our bowl okay so there's our cucumber carrot start with the carrot we'll have those ends off there and we're going to do exactly the same with this we're going to chop it more or less the same so we want to be roughly about the same size now obviously this carrot is massive so we're going to cut more of those diamond shapes out of one of these thicker ends so the smaller end not a problem, straight through there like we did with the cucumber and we're going to end up with those lovely triangles on there. So that's our triangular bits of carrot like that. Okay so these are a bit large for me actually. So what we're going to do, we're going to come through there like that and then we're going to do the same on the rest of the carrot. So let's just throw that in there. Now what I am going to do because I don't like the carrot being so large. We're just going to do this. And we've got that nice bit of carrot like that. That's going in there. Okay, so there's our carrots in there. Right, we've got a whole bunch of radish. So it's a case of top and tail. We don't want that in there. And we are just going to slice it. So we want some nice fairly reasonable size slices in there so they're about this thickness you know that's perfect so we're just going to get that and we're going to throw all those in our bowl so we're just going to crack on and we're just going to top and tail that we don't want that on there and then we're just going to nicely slice through our radish so we've got nice sliced radishes 
going in our bowl. Okay, so that's our hard veg in there. You know, that's our cucumber, our carrots and our radish. And what we need to be doing is going in there with a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon of salt, somewhere around about there. What we're going to do is leave that in there and it's going to draw the moisture out of that hard veg and out of that cucumber. Now that's going to sit there for about 15 minutes. I mean, I've got a variety of chilies here. I've got some of these smaller ones, They're lovely colours, they're going to be fantastic in the, in the pickle. Now, we just need to be slicing across these and they want to be in about half a centimetre pieces. So we're coming across there, half a centimetre pieces, absolutely perfect. These are not hot chilies by any means, okay? These are just the bog standard chili. Okay, they do carry a little bit of heat, but not too much. And obviously, if you don't want chilies in, don't put chilies in. Just put other veg in. Put cauliflower florets in if you want. That doesn't matter. Nice and easy like that. And then we'll crack on with the rest of the chilies. Okay, there's our chilies in there. Chuck it to one side. Let's get on with some onion. So we're just going to slice it quite thickly actually. So we've sliced it in half. We want to come through there. And then we're just going to do that actually. We just want some bits of onion like that. Some nice little cubes to go in there. We're just going to chuck it in a bowl. Let's get it in a bowl. There's our onion, so that's our veg, onion, chilli and all that lot in there. If you look in the bottom of there, look, you can see that moisture coming out of there. That's just what we want, so just leave that, we're going to leave it about another 10 minutes and then we'll mix it all together. Okay, there's our veg there, look, quite a lot of, quite a lot of fluid coming out of there. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to just give this a little gentle squeeze into here. Now we're not going to squeeze it too much obviously because we'll squash all the cucumbers and we're not going to give it a rinse anything like that you know it doesn't matter about the salt that's on there the salt's going to disappear into the vinegar you know a bit of a preservative there you know it won't matter so nice and gentle a little bit of a squeeze so there we have it that is the fluid out of there let's chuck that oh let's chuck that to one side and it's a case of let's chuck that in there and mix it all up so nice and gently let's mix it all through get the color in there that's absolutely superb there we are look at that look at the color in there that is superb so i've got these fancy sterilized jars i've boiled them up in there they've been boiled away for a good 10 minutes in that boiling water and that is our cold fluid in there it has to be completely cold before you can add it to the jars if not all your veg go soggy so nice and steady then in we go just get it in there fantastic color in there I think that's about enough in there. Oh, we've got a lot in here, look. It's going to be another couple of jars. So we're just going to get our vinegar, sugar, water in there. Our pickle juice. That is as easy as that. Seal up your jar. Get that perfect and that is our pickles so what we're trying to do when we put it so we when we put the vinegar in there we've brought it to the level of the vegetables now we're not going to go too much over because it's still going to seep out some of that fluid from the veg so there's going to be enough in there that's fantastic pickles in there just look at those So there's our pickle in there. I'm not going to taste test this now because obviously it's not ready. So this is one of those videos where we ain't going to munch it until tomorrow. Um, and it's going to stay crunchy, obviously. And you can eat it with anything, actually. 
Um, it's a fantastic pickle and obviously it uses whatever veg you want. You want cauliflower in there, put cauliflower florets in, anything like that. Um, and there's our pickle. <laughs> Simple as that. If you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.